Yeah, I'm doing a, a test to integrate uh, LTTO with BRX on my J on my J box. Um, so the default setting, I guess I'll take off coming soon because I think I got it now. Default settings boots up the 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 J box under BRX mode. Um, you got to drop down to be able to change it to to LTTO and recoil. I haven't done recoil yet, but uh, it's basically served as a domination box for any gear, right? So um. And other features as well, uh, and our emitter box. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and I've got an LTTO tagger sitting here chilling, hanging out. Uh, it's in uh, team two mode right now. So I'm gonna shoot my box, and um, you see this. Every five seconds, uh, the scoreboard is supposed to update and tell you what the current score is. It didn't work, obviously. I've got a couple of taggers. Select a game, deathmatch, so free for all, deathmatch, lives, alpha team. So this is the alpha team, so I'm going to go ahead and buy this out. Get some. Let's shoot it, stick on the base. Should start populating the score. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna turn it to be honest. So, so the scoring system works with all the teams: Delta team, Red team, Blue team, Green team, and Yellow team. Um, LTX is a little bit different, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this score. Uh, in game, reset the scores, and that should go to zero. Okay, cool. So that goes zero, clears out. Uh, I'm gonna go on up here and go to LTX mode. Or LTTO rather, and now it's going to be a domination for LTTO. So I've got Team Two Tiger still turned on. Can we go ahead and fire the, the receiver on this? And it's just start running on Team Two. Okay. Now um, the way the way LTX works is there's there's four teams really. There's the solo mode, the Team One, Team Two, Team Three. Uh, this is Team Two is really Charlie Team on this. That's fine. I could put an a logo in here says Team 2 if you want to. Um, it's not that big a deal. Uh, team 1 would be the Bravo team. And then Team 3 would be Delta team. <clears throat> and then Solo would be Alpha team. But Solo is not really compatible with anything. Really. Uh, so I'm going to turn this tagger off. Go to Team 1. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead and start this tagger on Team 1. Okay. Gonna go ahead and shot the base, and Bravo team takes the possession of the of the base. All right. So so Charlie's team stops, and Bravo team's racking up the points five seconds at a time. It's actually really <clears throat> does one second at a time, but it just updates every five seconds on the scoreboard. Um. So I've, I, I recently did some more game modes on here. Let me go ahead and stop this game mode. Uh, end game, and that actually syncs the score for for um. Uh, players and everything who gain points. Now, you see it says player 33 is 75. That was from the BRX, uh, I believe. So, um, from pre previously, I guess I didn't, I don't know what that is. I'll work on that. But um, if you're having a hosted game, uh, you'll be able to get players as well, most valuable players on the team as well, uh, for LTO, LTTO hosted games. I've got it figured out to where it's checking both, whether it's a hosted game or a um, grab and go game, and it's recognizing the teams for both, and it's applying the team um, determination on the scoreboard. Uh, all right, so let me go ahead and reset the score. There it goes. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go and change the domination modes. I've got a five minute domination mode, so it stops counting score uh, as soon as the five minutes closes and turns turns the, the game mode off. 10 minute domination and a five minute tug of war. I'm gonna show you how this five minute tug of war works. I'm put it in that mode. I'm gonna take team one, which was the Bravo team, capture the base. And while that's correcting up some points, I'm gonna go and turn it to team two. And start the tagger up, it takes 10 seconds. There we go, and so Charlie team will now take possession. 
Okay, now if you watch the score, you're going to see Bravo teams start reducing points. The tug of war game. So as the as the base gets captured and taken by different players or different teams rather, it pulls points away from the team that previously had the base. It'll only go down to zero. You won't go negative um, because that would be kind of ridiculous and it can be a very endless game if you did that. Uh, but at any rate, that's that's how it's functioning. Um, so we're gonna keep on racking up points on the Charlie team and for kicks and giggles, let's go ahead and put it on team one again. And I don't try Team 3 because I can't get that button to do it. I've never really figured out how to make those Team 3s work unless it's a hosted game. And I don't even play this very much anymore because of the BRXs. But, okay, so Bravo Team should capture it. In a couple of seconds, they'll start counting. And Charlie Team will start reducing their points as well. Okay, so you can see Charlie Team going down and Bravo Team going up. That's pretty much it.